the story or stories that you're about to hear are hypothetical but true in theory if you will but I want you to know and I want you to learn from me today it's about relationships husband wife husbands and wives when you got married you got married for better or worse through sickness and in health to death do you part that was the original marriage vows right these days those vows have seemingly changed but did you not know that marriage is more than just saying I do moving to a house together and paying bills and having some children early on marriage involves sex physical sex romantic sex and the man the husband should be receiving that when he wants it from his wife and ladies you should be giving that to him when he wants it it's really that simple ladies and husbands the woman's body belongs to the man and vice versa you're not in marriage just to be cooped up in the home and taking care of the mundane things the bills only uh, education for the children only as the children are growing it doesn't mean stop having sex even if the children leave the home it doesn't mean stop having sex your husband's ladies still have to be pleased by you sexually and if you stop giving them sex when they desire sex which is what that relationship involves as well and should involve it's a physical relationship as well that's part of love love is intimacy you know so if you deny him sex you have to ask why am I denying my husband my man sex and husbands you have to ask that question too it's time to talk to your wife baby we haven't had sex in a month, two months, or whatever. I would like sex. And she said, well, I don't feel like it anymore. Well, I don't want to. It doesn't matter what you feel like. You have to please your husband in that way. And sometimes it can be the opposite way. The husband may not have had sex or wanted to have sex. You cannot deny your wife sex. Because that will make you unequally yoked in some sense. You see, you belong to one another once you have those ties with one another through marriage. Understand that. So, if you don't have sex with your husband, you're going to make him possibly think about another woman or going elsewhere with another woman. Would he be justified? You don't have a right to deny your husband sex. And man, you should never deny your wife sex. I don't care if you've gained weight. I don't care if you become a little sick. Maybe you've gotten thinner. And they don't like your body anymore. Ladies. Or you think they don't like your body anymore. Give them what they want. Because your bodies, ladies, belong to your husband. And when he wants to have sex... You should please him. I'm not saying he should sex you 24 hours a day almost. You might have to talk about that. You might even have to set up some some uh, agreement between the two of you. We can't do this every day. Some people might be inclined to do so. But don't deny your husband sex. You know the scripture says it's better, better to marry than to burn. That's there for a reason so that the man doesn't go elsewhere and just start spreading himself out 
it's best to have a wife so he doesn't get tempted and just have sex with everybody he sees in front of him. So ladies, do your family a favor, your husband a favor, not actually a favor, but do your job, your duty. Give him sex when he desires sex. And on the flip side, conversely, husbands, if you have not been loyal to your wife in the bedroom, or if you have not spent any time with her romantically in a while, do so today. So that they don't have to go elsewhere and break up your family. And I'll say this, if in this particular instance, originally about the woman not giving sex to her husband, husbands, if she doesn't listen to the conversation and she still continues to not have sex with you, you do what's right for you. But I will say this, I'm not a proponent of divorce, especially for something like that. It should never come to that point where you want to divorce one another because of lack of sex. That should never be a reason. If it comes down to that, then you have to question why you ever got together in the first place. It's unfortunate, but it does happen. So that was all I had to say. If you've had an experience like this, please let me know. If you need some more advice, please let me know that as well. But try to keep your relationship together, if at all possible, because that's really the way God, Yahweh, Allah, would intend it to be. And for those of you who are just getting together, make sure you get to know the other person first before you ever enter into the bedroom in that way. Be blessed.